So sometimes when I'm at the beach, I really like to create an anakshak, which is a pile of stones that takes on a human form, and it's traditionally used by the Inuit people as a landmark, or to say, I've been here, this is where I've left a cache of food, or this is the way to go. So for me, an anakshak is always a sign that I was here. So I often use the symbol of the Anakshak in my art. It's kind of like my signature. And it's a reminder to people that you need to be aware of what is the mark that you leave behind you as you pass through this world. So in this video I'm going to show you how I use the Anakshak in my art and give you some examples of different ways I have used it. I really like to build Anakshaks like this one and here's an example of where I collect a lot of beach bricks and then I build this series of Anakshaks on the front porch of my cottage. And then often when I'm walking at the beach or out at different places, I'll see anakshaks that other people have built and I'll take pictures of them. And I often wonder, what's the story behind the person who built that anakshak? And where have they been? Where are they going? It's always interesting to me. So here's an example of a sea glass mosaic where the anakshak is a focal point of my piece. Because even though I have this beautiful scene with the beach and the cape and the water and the sailboats, the anakshak is in the foreground right there in, there's actually two anakshaks standing on the piece of driftwood. And to me, that's the real focal point of this piece. And by creating the anakshak with sea pottery, it really stands out. So here's an anakshak I built at the beach one day that I really liked. So I decided I wanted to recreate this photo in a sea glass mosaic. So I used that as my pattern for this anakshak and then I created a really abstract design around it. And I used rocks from that same beach to build the rock wall that the anakshak is standing on. Sometimes I'll make an anakshak on a painting that I've done. And quite often I'll make anakshaks on my little quilt art pieces as well. And here's an example of an anakshak on a mirrored background. Sometimes my anakshaks are quite large within a piece. And sometimes they're really tiny and you have to search to find them. And sometimes I'll use sea glass, sometimes I'll use sea pottery, sometimes I'll use rocks. Any material goes when it comes to creating an anakshak. As long as it's somewhere in my piece, I'm going to be happy with it. So I'm going to show you a slideshow of a number of different anakshaks that I've created in my art pieces. Some on my sea glass mosaic, some on fabric, some on paintings, but always the anakshak symbol. And I really hope that you enjoy this slideshow and it reminds you to be aware of the mark you're leaving as you go through this life. So thanks so much for joining me today and until next time, happy sea glass hunting.